estimated two million people descended on Washington, D.C. Tuesday to witness the inauguration of Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Dozens of members of the university community, including University President Patrick Harker and the University of Delaware Marching Band, made the 98-mile journey from Newark to the nation's capital to see one of their own sworn in as vice president. Students who attended the festivities braved congested train stations, long lines, and frigid temperatures. Some students reported spending several hours waiting in this Third Street tunnel, only to find out later the line was reserved for ticket holders. The crowd of several thousand people in the tunnel passed the time with patriotic songs and pro-Obama chants, but the excitement eventually turned to frustration, with some people starting to push and shove. Most of the students eventually made it to the National Mall, which was filled from the Capitol all the way back to near the Lincoln Memorial. The gathered crowd watched the swearing-in on one of several jumbotrons set up along the mall, such as this one behind the Washington Monument. The excitement and energy of the crowd was apparent, and many donned hats and sweatshirts celebrating Obama's presidency. Clearly a partisan crowd, it booed George W. Bush and cheered wildly for Al Gore, Jimmy Carter, and Bill Clinton. But of course, the loudest cheers of the day were reserved for President Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, the President-elect of the United States, Barack H. Obama! Reporting from Washington, I'm Josh Shannon.